Finally, once we have the configuration um, and the installation set up, we just need to run Jetscape. And so to do this, there's, there's one central executable called run Jetscape. Um, and so this gets compiled when you compile Jetscape for your first time. And you, you won't need to recompile this or otherwise modify it again. Um, and this, this, um, this executable, what it will do is it will basically uh, run the framework using the specifications in your user XML file. So it will connect together all the modules that you specified there um, and execute those modules. Um, so the command that you would run is something like this. You, you just execute this executable run Jetscape, and then you give it as a command line argument, a path to your specific user XML file, which you customize to your liking. And if you want to run Jetscape in a different configuration with a different set of modules, all you do is pass a different um, XML configuration, uh, but this, this executable, this way to run Jetscape remains exactly the same. Now, when you run Jetscape then, um, there are a couple of different output formats that you can get. So the, the output of Jetscape itself, it contains um, really the full event information. Um, so it contains final state hadrons, it contains final state partons, and um, it also contains the full parton shower history itself. Um, and there, there are two different options um, that you can produce this, this, uh, this data in, either an ASCII format, which is, uh, which is basically a custom Jetscape format, just a specific uh, set of conventions in an ASCII format. Um, and along with this, we provide also some uh, executables that you can run to extract, for example, just the final state hadrons out of this output or just the final state partons, if, if for example, that's the only thing that you're interested in. Um, one also can uh, directly write a, a gzipped uh, version of this. Um, and so th this ASCII format is a little bit more efficient. Um, it's a little bit smaller um, in size, uh, but there is also the option to generate events in the HEPMC format, specifically the HEPMC3 format. Um, so this, uh, for those who don't know, is, is a very standard event format. Um, it occupies a bit larger size than this ASCII, but can still be very useful um, due to this standardization. And one thing to point out is that um, by writing with HEPMC, uh, the Jetscape output is also fully compatible with Rivet, um, which uh, is something that may be of interest to many of you. 